Growing up on a cattle farm in Arkansas was an amazing thing in many ways. I learned many life lessons that I still think of and can use in my spiritual life today. When you have a cattle farm, two of the most important things you need and must have are food and water for the cattle. So we put a lot into taking care of the natural resources given to us on the land that we had. Naturally, that was the ponds the cows drank from and the grass that grew in the pastures that they'd eat. We fertilized and kept the grass free of weeds that wanted to take over as best we could. See, and Jesus talks about it in Mark 4. He gives us a parable about seeds that a farmer went out to plant. He gives different ways that the seeds fell in Mark 4, 3 through 8. He says, listen, our farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on the shallow soil with underlying rock. The seed sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the hot sun and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among the thorns that grew and choked out the tender plants, so they produced no grain. Still, other seeds fell on fertile soil, and they sprouted, grew, and produced a crop that was 30 to 60 and even 100 times as much as had been planted. See, every week on the farm, we had to guard against the weeds and thorns. One of those weeds was called a thistle plant. See, while this plant actually produced amazing purple flowers that were nice to look at, for a cattle farmer, they could be a nightmare. They can take over a cattle field if not sprayed, cut down, and burned. They flower at, the flower, after it has produced the flower, produces small seeds that can float all across your farm. See, one good wind, and these seeds will spread, and you'll be fighting them all over your field if you don't cut them down early before the seeds have time to spread. Just like this thistle seed, we must constantly be walking the fields of our lives and keeping the soil fertilized with the Word of God, watered with the Holy Spirit, and we must at all costs not let sin take a foothold in our lives. But we must, when we do have sin, not let it grow and germinate because just like the thistle plant, seed spreads. See, the Bible talks about a little leaven and dough leavens the whole lump of dough. Today, walk the field of your life and allow God to point out the sin that is taking root in your life. Don't let it germinate and don't let it spread. Cut it down at the root. Burn it down with the help of the Holy Spirit. God has a plan for your life and you must spend time in the Word and in prayer and allow God to show you the weeds that are in your life that need to be cut out so the good things of God can grow.